Okay, when you receive this, the ripper, it will come just like you see it right here. You will need a screwdriver. Loosen this up. Slide out the ripper rod. couple tools in here and the connection for the drill. This is the part, the connection for the drill. The instructions on how to put it together. You have the two screws that goes on to this rod and two allen wrenches for the assembly. here because this belongs on here when you're done. I turn this over, pull this protective cover off, make sure the square metal key is on the shaft, just like that. You'll line up these holes with this square key. you'll have these two little screws that you'll put on the shaft. Now you have the shaft on. Now you'll loosen the four screws on this, the drill bracket. That allows this to slide up. Take the drill, go ahead and tighten the bit in the drill. run the rod to the right and the drill backwards. This is the handles. When you slide the bracket up, you slide it up. You want this bracket where this rod sits right on top of the drill, just like that. So a little higher.
pretty close. Go a little bit lower. You want to make sure that touches the drill. I like to run the drill with the rod to the right of the drill and power like this. Once you get it in place, go ahead and tighten the four screws back on this. Now you're ready to rip up carpet. 